I've already made $160 in four and a half hours. Should I risk the day and take another order, which might make my day go to Or should I just call it quits and end on a high note? Gig economy drivers, it's Tony, your hustling hyena, and today is day number 57. I'm stopping with the hand stuff unless it gets to like back to numbers I can do. Day number 57 of trying to save 12 to 15 thousand dollars for my first Turo car. Um at my favorite place, Walmart, and I'm just waiting for an order. It looks like I got skipped over already from Walmart Spark, but I'm hoping that I didn't, and I'm hoping that they're just sending their orders a little later than their usual times. Anyway, before we keep going forward, I just wanna thank everyone for liking and subscribing, especially the commenters. It really means a lot that you're commenting because I can comment back, get to know a little bit about you, and kind of feel not so alone in this world, you know? Cause it's sad. Anyway, I'm actually right here next to the op. I actually caught her. She actually waved at me as I was driving through like a maniac to the parking spot. So let's see how she's doing. Maybe we can sneak up on her. We can't. Hello. How are you? Okay, I like your Ford Bronco shirt. That looks nice. Tell me about what's going on here. Super soft school sweater. Super cool. And a sushi onesie. <laughs> All right, tell me how your day's going so far. Sucks. I've had one order. One order. Yes, but it wasn't too bad. It's $46. $46 is great. And you're starting this at 9 o'clock. You've had one order since 9? One order in two and a half hours? That's great. Did you take it? You didn't take it? I would have probably taken that. You're spoiled. You're spoiled with the $40 orders from Instacart. So as I was talking to the op, she said it was really slow, but Spark definitely came through for me. $44.82, only going 4.1 miles, and it's one of those three grocery drop-offs, which I'm okay with. She said she's not willing to do eight miles for $30, but if it's slow, I think I would have definitely taken it. That was the quickest I've ever seen someone get an order, right? <laughs> See, like, ready at the door? Thanks, man. Quick question. Quick question. You think he works for Amazon? You doing Spark or Amazon? Both. Nice. This one's up. <laughs> it's not good? Not a good order? The guy was a dead for an alcohol. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry, man. I got a return. Yeah, $40, but this is intense. Front seat. Back seat, and uh, yeah, I'll show you the trunk later when I get to the place. People don't really know what we do, you know? So I appreciate when they tip us, and I'm sure you appreciate when they tip us as well, but sometimes <sighs> it's a lot of work. This is, uh, this is a grind. For those who don't think it's a grind, they're crazy. This is 100% a grind. Getting painful. How are you? Okay. 
Damn, you guys want to know what's wild? That that base pay was $16. The rest of it was tips. So thank you guys, every single one of you. Thank you. Just got back to the Walmart and I was parked next to the op and we were talking about orders and what she would take and what she wouldn't take and she would not have taken this order that I took. But it's $36.38. It is going 8.4 miles, which is the reason why she would have declined it. I took it because I kind of want to keep making $30 an hour. So yeah, let me know if you would have taken it. I think it's worth it, even though it might be kind of a far drive. All right, order loaded up. Let's take this long drive for this 36 bucks that I still think is kind of worth it. There's no water bottles, but there's definitely this really heavy, heavy bag of dog food. This isn't the heavy one. Definitely not my favorite uh, three drop-offs that I've done, but $36 I think is still worth it. I know the op took a 1.2 mile, $22 uh, Instacart, so that's pretty good as well. But yeah, not a lot of things beat $30 in an hour. So as I'm driving back to the Walmart, and I'm a little far away, which sucks. And it's because it took like 15 minutes for me to get my order. Spark sent me an order that's $22 going like 8.6 nope. miles, which I did not take. Hopefully that's not the only order they sent me, but it's been a few minutes already and they stopped sending me orders. So Spark might have skipped me for this hour. I have Instacart going, DoorDash and Grubhub are of course just not busy enough right now which is pretty common in my area, and I'm sure maybe it is in yours as well, but anything afternoon before the dinner rush is just slow. So I've been declining a few Instacart orders because, uh, yeah, I don't think they're worth it. I went ahead and I took a photo for you guys to see. Let me know if you think any of those are worth it. $10.83 for 1.8 miles sounds good, but that's a lot of items. That's not worth it. But yeah, ended up taking a Spark shop and deliver order, which I think it's the best one so far. I have not been in this house since I first started. Hello! Ooh, you got this? Okay, all of it. I try to put everything in one in a few bags. Oh, I appreciate that so much. Order dropped off and this is gonna sound pretty nasty, but I need to file my nails down a lot. When I gave her the groceries, I scratched the out of her hand. I feel like I still have some of her skin under my nail. On a better note, on our quest to keep getting at least $30 an hour, I got a spark order for 1.8 miles for $33. So I'm rushing back to the Walmart to get that shop for. <laughs> I 
every time, huh? All right, guys, so I also took an Instacart order. This Instacart order is for a TV, so I think I'm gonna need the back. Pick up, sir? Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Oh, oh no, sorry, it didn't scan. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. I had to take it off. That's why. Thirty-two inches. Okay, I can grab it by my hands, right? Thirty-two. Yeah. Right? That's heavy. No, I'm Is just it? kidding. No, no, it's super light. It's super light. <laughs> Let me grab it. that for you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I'm all good. Ooh, this is one handable. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Space for that door to open up. So, quick update I'm doing extremely well. It's about to be the fourth hour, and I'm already at $140. Once I get this TV dropped off, I'll be at $150 plus. And that's in less than five hours. This is pretty good. I almost feel like calling it quits. We'll see if there's anything else that Spark sends me that might be worth it, because then I'll stay. But a quick 150 in less than five hours is, is pretty impressive, is, is what I used to do back in the days. This is pretty good. Today's a good day. This is pretty legit. What is going on? This is the correct place. Oh no, it's telling me. Oh, man. So I can't say that I'm in the place because it doesn't believe that I'm there because it's just giving me an address and not a specific unit or whatever this is called house number so now I gotta drive back to that area confirm arrival and then come back here trash I got your TV it's just not letting me log it's not letting me confirm arrival until I get to this spot right here so I'll just oh, drive around yeah just give me like okay. two minutes sorry about that sorry about that man <laughs> I don't know why the app did that it's like all over the place okay I got your TV though. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Of course. Thanks, All right. Brother. Have a good one, bro. Seriously, what a weird situation. And it's not like Walmart Spark where you can kind of keep pushing it and it eventually says, okay, you're here. It was not like that at all. It literally did not allow me to go forward and specify that I was at the address because I wasn't, I don't know, 500 feet closer to the area that shows on the app, which was the wrong address. All right, guys, I am contemplating whether or not to take another order. I've already made $160 in four and a half hours. Should I risk the day and take another order, which might make my day go to shit, Or should I just call it quits and end on a high note? Let me know in the comments what you would do. I'm